Hi everybody, we're gonna do sushi tonight and this is a family favorite. We do this every week or so and everybody does DIY. We'll do the rice to start and then get into the toppings. I'm going to do vegetarian. It's quick and easy. It's much easier than preparing some fish. Plus I'm allergic to shellfish. So um, my children saute up some prawns for themselves, but I usually just do steamed asparagus, avocado, yams, sauteed shiitake mushrooms for protein and a little bit of kick. So we're gonna do that tonight. So what you're gonna need is four cups of sushi rice. If your grocery store doesn't carry this, you can ask them to bring it in. It's readily available all over North America. So you're gonna need four cups and you're gonna put that in your instant pot and you're going to cook it for 20 minutes to remove the lectin content, which causes an autoimmune response in my body. Um, so the only way that I can eat rice is if I pressure cook it for 20 minutes. And then you'll add four and a half cups or just over four and a half cups of water and you'll set that uh, on meat stew for 20 minutes and we'll let it slow release. While the rice is cooking, we can start on the toppings. So I've got some yams and what I've done is I've just cut them into little french fry sized pieces. I've done four, I like to have leftovers so I can put them on salads. You can do one to two. And what we're gonna do, they're um, peeled and chopped. Put them into a bowl and we'll just quickly season them. So we'll just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of sesame oil, a little less then the extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of maple syrup, tiny little bit, and not too much because the yams are sweet enough as it is. And I don't know if uh, anybody here has glycemic issues with um, their autoimmune. I don't seem to have a problem with maple syrup. I do not eat refined sugar. It gives me an autoimmune response. Um, so we'll put, toss that together, Put that on a baking sheet and then we'll bake it at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes flipping in between. So I've got a pot here with water and a steamer basket that's for the asparagus and then I have a pan here and we're going to heat that to medium high heat. Put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and let that come to heat and then I will plop all of the shiitakes in there and I'm going to saute them, I'd say for three to five minutes and maybe a little bit longer. So those are starting to sizzle. And then I would say I'm gonna drizzle, I'd say one to two tablespoons of the coconut aminos on there, maybe a little bit more. And the asparagus can go in the water. Got the lid on and the asparagus will steam for about five minutes. All right, so the shiitake mushrooms are done and the, um, and the asparagus is close to being done. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there, put the lid on, turn that um, off, turn the stove off, and then we can plate this, get it ready, and then everybody can do DIY sushi. to get it right. Sushi chefs actually study so long, it's almost like getting your doctorate to become a sushi master. So I have the rice, it's here. I just put it on a long platter, I cut it, cut through it, and then it doesn't flatten out the rice. need for seasoning is one teaspoon of swerve granulated sugar, one tablespoon of hot water so that the granulated sugar will dissolve, and one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and that makes the rice sticky and it gives it some seasoning. I have noticed when I go to the sushi restaurant that um, they do use refined sugar and I will have an autoimmune response to that unfortunately. So we'll just mix that around until the sugar dissolves. Kind of ladle it onto the rice. So we'll just cut the rice and that'll fluff it and it'll also get the seasoning mixture all combined really nicely with the rice. Add some toasted sesame seeds. So I toasted those. It took a few minutes on the stove. Cut those in so they're nicely combined with the rice. You can omit these if you like, but it really gives it a good flavor. You need a bamboo roller. 
you will need a really nice serrated knife in water um, because the rice gets sticky when you're cutting it. You'll need a bowl of warm water for your fingers because the rice will stick to your fingers. And then you've got your sushi nori. You, you will want to put the shiny side down. We have our rice here. It's nice and cool. All of our ingredients are nice and cool. So what you're gonna do is you're going to wet your fingers and just pick up a bunch of this rice and you're going to want to just flatten this down. We have found that the flatter it is, the easier it is to roll. A little bit of an edge uh, to bind the roll when it's put together. We're going to do two stalks of asparagus, two pieces of yam, I'll do some avocado, shiitake mushroom, I will rinse my hands, and then I will gently roll this over. I'll go part way and then squeeze. And then we can also wet the end here. And that will help it bind to the roll. And then, there we go. So this is one full roll. And the amount of rice that we made is for two of these, each per person for a family of four. And then we can cut. So I start cutting I start cutting in the middle and I just gently saw back and forth and then we will cut in the center again and then in the center again. Watch your fingers, you don't want to cut your fingers. And then I'll start on the edge here and gently cut the end piece off. The end piece is really delicate. Make sure you cut through, get through the entire piece of nori. So my kids are having prawns and bacon. You can do shredded carrot, chopped green onion. You could do tuna. I'm probably gonna do a tuna poke bowl one of these days. You could do shredded pressure cooked chicken as long as it's been, it's pastured or pressure cooked for 20 minutes and hasn't eaten wheat. Your chicken hasn't eaten wheat, that is. All right, there it is, everybody. I've got a small bowl of coconut aminos right here. You can also do wasabi and pickled ginger, but make sure that the ingredients in those are autoimmune friendly. And the sushi is amazing. I'm gonna make another roll. We've got yam, avocado, shiitake mushrooms, and asparagus. Enjoy everybody.